one thing that's important to address. And that's why I like dwell. Because dwelling doesn't help. I experienced enough hours of fucking crap. And I ran me short of it. That's it. If it was an issue that I could confront, do something about it, I'd hunt it, don't do it. But when it's something that I can't do anything about, I'm just going to ignore it. And it's weird how we get people to think that because it's not really a problem in the food space. Yeah, fucking right. Oh, no, no. Do you want the dumbest thing to do? He goes, Are you alright? Yeah, I was like, no. Of course I don't really listen. I said, like, are you sure? What if you just say yes to go, are you sure? It's like, why are you interrogating me? In actual fact, I may not often look all right, but I'm all right. That's just the default of what happens when I'm not paying attention. I myself was all right deep inside until you fucking came and asked me that damn fucking question. Oh, I'm not referring to actual well-meaning people. I always mean nosy and interfering busy bodies or slobby bodies. This is probably uh, accurate. No, I was going to say, actually, I was alright. I just didn't look it. And uh, now I'm not. In case you didn't mind. No, I only could turn into an asshole towards the end of a very long day. Here's how I kind of find just a scape the loving question. I don't like getting pratted and twatted at. Anyway. Not brat twansies. Technically. Very nasty people. They got themselves a little system for the repeat access and a kid they don't want to do. Now it's come to me egotistical knots who just disregard the rights of others. Prat and twat round. Fuck them do it. And what basically triggers a little no for an answer don't leave me there or avoid me that kind of way yeah oh and now I'm getting all drifty because uh, that's got what's that subject of why don't we dwell okay. oh I dwell doesn't mean there isn't a problem but I have enough hours of my damn issues to be any point alright I'll start this for you